Hello world, I'm Cop. welcome back to Call This Simulator with the Priest DLC. At this moment we are doing a sermon about Red Secret with some fervor here. We are feeding my imagination, yeah we're going, trying to grow our passions, we have one equilibrium lesson learned here, we're creating another one here. We are not dreaming because we don't have anything to dream about. We've sent a percipient worshipper out to explore him because we got this from our cult or our church. Uh, we are trying to get a patron, but we're not gonna get that because we need reason for that, and our reason is stuck here. Uh, next up is coming a season of suspicion, which is really bad since we have notoriety and a mystique here. Well, the notoriety is the bad thing. And we have a sickness coming upon, well, it is already upon us. Soon it will change this into uh, what is it even called? Uh, an affliction, yes. Okay, we could get someone from here, an entry consultant, but we don't really need an entry consultant for anything right now. What we really need is some money. Yeah, we got the affliction. We need to sleep this affliction away with some funds because that's the only thing we can do for that. All right, there's the wrong kind of attention. So, okay, and we have s another exaltation here. And at last their fervor is spent. What have they made of this night? Fervor and law together will almost always cause exaltation, but will we use up the fervor. Okay, so we get one funds for that. That's what I really want to get some more funds for that. Now, the thing is, last time I put my call in here, because it's the only thing we can put in here, it created notoriety. And I really don't like would like to get another notoriety right now. Hmm. So Do I do this? I'd like to see if it gives us something else. What will come of this upcoming draws one? You know what? We'll just put it there. I mean we can't die immediately. Okay, there's another glimmering lesson learned. Let's put our vivid imagination and our lessons learned in here. Increase our imagination a bit more. Yeah, I'll grab the notoriety. I'll do this little cheetah thing and uh, make sure that... Right, of course, of course, of course, we were needed our reason there. Don't have any reason. Uh, let's use the locksmith secret. So... Yeah, let's just uh, keep preaching about the red secret. We don't have fervor right now, but I mean, this will give us money. Will it give us anything more? Probably not. Okay, let's see. Did you give us. Okay, this time you gave us Mystique, two funds, and another percipient worshipper. Right. Okay. But we have no use for that precipi- Ooh, forgot to grab the notoriety there. Next, we like we have no use for these guys. So, if it always gives us one of percipient worshippers with our mirror of glory into the exaltation, I don't think we really need to do that that often, especially since it's great stuff that uh, keeps Douglas around here. Hmm. We really want to find some. You know, we need to find lore so that we can dream, so that we can find sacred histories. So that means Morlands. I mean, we have six gold right now. Apparently, we have eight gold. According to this, where's our, where's three of that? All right, one was here because we need to buy some medicine. One's here and one is here now. Okay, that makes sense. Can this gives us? Yep, just one gold. So, I'm thinking that maybe we want to increase our physique, actually. Like, I don't know if there's any actual use for health here, really, but... Because uh, it's, it's just an easy thing to do, and it's done once it's done, and we don't need to think about that anymore. Okay, there's some more passion. Yeah, so let's just study health. Like, dreaming on health will also sometimes give vitality, but... Uh, Collection of poetry. Ah! That's not the book I wanted right now. And now we're getting an acquaintance. Yes, we have passion. Good. This gives us restlessness, so we need to paint that away quite soon. And 
and I forgot to grab the notoriety, and of course Douglas grabbed it. Well, he's probably gonna make some evidence, because that's what he does. Okay, there's some vitality for us, let's uh, get some more coming. Okay, there's some more vitality, and... Uh, Right, we can turn this into a vitality lesson learned. If we want to. Yeah, probably. It's still probably worth uh, while to keep turn this into vitality lessons learned first. Victor! Old acquaintance. Now, Victor... Oh, this is... Oh! This is gonna give us restlessness. Oh, we have this restlessness. I was supposed to paint that away. Oh, and the Season of Dread is coming! Ah, uh, that's basically two dreads there. Not good, not good, not good. Uh, can we talk to these guys? Discuss awkward business with a follower. Okay, right, so you're just a follower. If I... Can I take you guys into the cult? Can I promote you? I don't have... Wait, there's Lantern 4. So I do have... Wait, does Restlessness have Lantern? Restlessness does have Lantern. So I could take Victor in the cold with re Restlessness, yes. But these guys I can't because they are just like temporary dudes. Okay, well, let's use this Restlessness there to get Victor in the cold. Oh, ooh, I didn't know we could do that. I'm pretty sure they added some aspects to Restlessness that weren't there like a month ago. Okay, more restlessness, so finding more people. Uh, we can find the people in a minute. Okay, there's more vitality. Uh, there's Victor. Victor, you are Edge, are you not? Yes, you are. Uh, so. And what are we doing here? We're doing a vitality lesson learned. Mm, let's talk about Locksmith's secret on the streets. Get more people. Let's. Should I paint the restlessness away? That's probably the best thing to do here right now. So yeah, let's do that. We'll use our mystique here. Paint the restlessness. Oh, you didn't make evidence there, Mr. Weird Detective. Nice, thank you. So there's a vitality lesson learned. Uh, let's study some health. Okay, painting done. Ooh, gave us a good amount of money. So let's work on our physique then. Keep it getting that vitality. And our followers just went away and they just went away. Okay, I think it said something that they could do something bad when they go away, but uh, at least those two didn't. Got a fleeting reminiscence over here. Some bad fascination things up here, but we don't have any fascination, so it's fine. Okay, let's turn these vitalities into a vitality lesson learned. And I'm gonna need three of them, right? So with a with good luck, this work will give it to me. Like both two. No, only one, but uh it will just work some more. It will give me that vitality we need, and then we'll have three vitality skills and learn, and then we can upgrade our uh, health a bit more. Who did we find this time? Clavette! Mm. Does notoriety or mystique have? No, you do not have any aspects. So we'll wait until the next time we're... Oh, does fleeting reminiscence have? Ooh, you have moth aspect. And secret histories aspect. Right. Uh, let's see, is there anything... I could dream about that I haven't been thinking about I could dream about. No, just the basic stuff. Can I use anything else to explore? Fleeting reminiscence. Let memory guide my steps. My thoughts will wander and I will follow. Old emotions will come to roost. Ooh, I didn't know what this does. Let's do that. And can I talk to someone I didn't think about I could... Nope. Only the same thing. So let's talk about the locksmith secret on the streets. Fleeting reminiscence here. A vitality lesson learned here, so that's still gonna be around for three minutes. Okay, we can do this. Let's just wait for to get a vitality from here. There's our vitality. What is this? Dread! Memory is a maze and it's hard 
<laughs> a garden. Okay. So, I'll try that again and see... If it, if it gives me dread again, then that's something I'm... Well, it's a way to get rid of fascination for sure, but uh, just getting dread is never just, you know, it's never a good idea. But can I try it at least twice to see if it does? Do it every time. Uh, that gives us the vitality. Uh, let's take time to keep a sermon right now. I'm really loving this button though. Okay, there goes our passion and... Oh, now it gave us fascination. Huh. Well, dread goes... Uh, no, no, no. Fascination goes away with dread. Then it will give me a fleeting reminiscence, <laughs> which I can then, again, <laughs> do over here. Okay, that's an interesting loop over there. Yeah, tonight they listen, but they do not hear. How do I know which is more passionate or which is more rhythm? I just need to, you know, feel it. Because Grail, to me, feels... Aspect requires intuition. With time and peace, answer sometimes comes unannounced. To operate or subvert this fragment, you'd need a glimmering or an HQ with a sanctuary. Ha! Huh. Right, so that must be the new research aspect, which I have no idea about how that goes. But yeah, we'll just keep talking talking about this red secret with passion. I mean, since we don't have any reason, we should probably increase our reason as well. Where is our reason? Oh, it's over there. Okay, there's our vitality lesson learned, and with those three, we can increase our health a bit more. Uh, we cannot get it to the next level, though, because we'd need some lore for that, and I'm pretty sure we don't have the lore that would require to get a strength to the highest level for health. Okay, who did we find? Count Jennings! Jennings, Jennings, Jennings. We'll talk to you immediately. The good Count's fraternity in Europe is seeking a particular research. Count Godlob Jennings represents a continental confraternity of decisions and duelists. He could use your assistance. Alright, on. And now we have a fleeting reminiscence here. <laughs> And of course I'm gonna <laughs> explore this fleeting reminiscence again, just to see, like, it's a third time. If it gives me... Dread or... Fascination, then I'm thinking that that's the thing that it always gives, either Dread or Fascination. Okay, Jannings wants a heart commission, we don't have any heart, so we'll put Jannings right over here, so we'll remember him once uh, we need uh, to do that. Okay, and that's just one funds. Yes, uh, so let's try to use the red secret with reason then. Probably not suitable for the red grail, but uh, you know, gotta try. And now we have a steely physique. So that's for health. Loving it. So should we then maybe increase our imagination? We should probably just go buy some books. Also, we should talk on the streets to get more people. Is there anything for us to really study? Uh, we should study the, our reason to get at least one more reason. I mean, just one is good. Yeah, okay, the, so now it's dread. So, probably it gives either dread or fascination exploring a forgotten... No, a fleeting reminiscence. Which is... Upgrade influence. Oh. I can use my dread to strengthen dangerous influences. A thrilling air or a chilly atmosphere. And with some edge knowledge. Hmm. Interesting. A dread, do you have you have edge? And ill health. Right. Huh. Is there any way for us to get rid of that dread? Not really. Is the dread coming? Dread is coming. Ah, but it doesn't matter. It can just be there. Like, we'll get some contentment at some point. That's just the way life goes. Contentment is somewhere. And if, you know, if it comes, like, this difficult situation, we can always sleep on some money to get some opium, and that will be fine. 
but yeah, 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 yeah. We need to go to the Morelands to buy some books. We really need to find some uh, Lantern Lord would be. Wait, do we have Lantern Lord? No, that was the previous little run I did. Right, what would. I, I'm thinking that the easiest way to make money, because this takes a while. Like, uh, it takes 50 seconds. Well, I'm thinking using our steel physique only takes 50 seconds as well. And this has a chance to make something better. Okay, we find a new person. That is good. And from Morelands we find Apollo and Marcius. The libretto of a lost opera concerning the contest between Apollo and Marcius and its tragic outcome. The librettist is identified only by their initials R, K, N, J, L. Okay, so let's read that. In the original myth, Marcias lost a musical contest and was flayed by Apollo, who later regretted it. In this version, Marcias' skin has a further history. Should you, what, what do we have in our heterodox? No, that doesn't tell me what we have there. Uh, can I dream about it? No. Ah, I need to talk about it. That will probably tell me. I was thinking about uh, what the lore said. Now, what does actually knock lore say? Requires knowledge. This is a puzzle with missing pieces. I might find this piece in odd corners of scholarship. To upgrade or subvert this fragment, you need erudition or an HQ with a library. Right. Hey, exaltation. And further. Ooh. So, the further is good at giving us exaltation, it seems. And if we don't use it, it'll go turn into dread. And here, if we put here, we get that uh, extra person. Okay, yeah, let's do this one more time. Let's see if we get extra person and mystic or dread. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't even realize this thing was here, so that whatever we get from here is just gonna go there immediately. Hey, Restlessness! We can use that Restlessness to upgrade Clavette. Good. Right, we found a hanger on. But we'd rather... Oh, we need to wait for our cult to come back from here. Okay, you took that mystique. Thank you. And this gave us two funds. Oh, funds. So it doesn't always even give us mystique or notoriety. It can just give us extra funds. Well, that's fun to know. Okay, we'll use the Mirror of Glory here, we'll use uh, the Restlessness, and we'll take Lovett into the cult. And I think we're gonna do a ceremony about the Red Secret with some fervor and some passion. Right, so this will probably give us some more exaltation then. The skin of Marcias gives oracles and is later smuggled to Phrygia, where the priestesses of Sibel use it for a drumhead. At the opera's climax, the pounding of the drum drives would-be violators of the priestess to suicidal madness. The opera ends with a wistful hun from the youngest priestess on the beauty of mountain pines. A thunderous secret. Hey, that's a small hard thing. We can do uh, Jennings' commission with that. Which is probably something we might want to do, because Janius can teach us Latin immediately. We should be quite nice to get uh, quite uh, fast. Also, we should be buying books from Morelands, because we have like... Like, we have several funds. Oh, also we should be studying our reason to get more reason. And now Clovet is in our cult. Clovet, you are heart person. Leo, you are heart person. Catgaro, you are lantern. And Victor, you are edge. Yes, we'll keep you there in different rows just to remember. Uh, right, let's talk about. No, wait, I wanted to use the heterodox church here. We have a vestry. Hey! Aha! We could put these guys in the cupboard. Now there's an idea, but we probably don't want to do that. Huh, I wonder if we want to do that. Because like we don't have an actual, like a winning condition card here. So I'm assuming that our winning condition card is uh, like this. This will be what allows us to win with the, uh, what did it say when we put our health there? Uh, let's look at that next time. 
Ooh, the Orchid Transfiguration Volume 2. Yeah, and it's in Latin. Right. So, uh, we'll buy some more books. As long as we have more than five here, I am pretty uh, confident that we can buy books. And yeah, here's the content. Like I said, content is going to come at some point. We don't really need to use the money for that. Uh, but what we do need to do is talk about the locksmiths. See, Cret on the streets. Get more people. Okay, there's the exaltation. We get some money, and we put our cult in here, and we can get some more things. So we got an uh, notoriety, mystique, and gold from doing this. Uh, let's do Jennings's commission. We'll use a thunderous secret. We don't have any reason to use here, so we can't actually do that. Well, let's then just give a passionate sermon. See if we can get some more further. And what do we find more? Let's say the Viennese Conundra. Right, and back to Morelands. We still have extra money, yes. Okay, this time gave us Mystique and two funds. Okay, so this is almost safe to do then. I probably shouldn't be doing it while we have this thing still going on here, because we can give us notoriety like we've already learned. Okay, uh, so we'll have our er, another addition here so we can increase our reason, which is a pretty good thing to have. Okay, right, now we have one more further. Okay, this is... Uh, ooh, the locksmith's dreams. Right, that gives us knock lore. Pretty sure about that. Because of the color. But yeah, we don't want to put our cult in here right now because we have this thing going on here. But it is gone now, so we actually can put our cult in there. Anyways. And yeah, we have money, so we'll go to the mall and buy books. And uh... Right, we need Latin... No, not Latin, we need reason to do this heart commission. So yeah, let's talk about the heart in our sermon next. Oh, we don't have any passion or reason. Uh, okay, so let's see what it said about health. Add lore of at least 10th level and fervor to begin the process of creating a lock scar. Okay, and then that lock scar is probably what is our uh, like end game condition. Do we have fervor? Yes, we have fervor here. Let's put it here. Let's put these secrets like somewhere here. Okay, we're gonna use the erudition quite soon, but we want to work on something so that we don't like just uh, use time for nothing. So that means that we're just gonna work with our steely physique. Okay, that takes 45 seconds, but yeah, working at a church is more uh, cost efficient or gives us more money. Okay, and now, right, we put the cult in there and gave us two money and some mystic. Okay, and more percipient worshippers. And from Morelands we found the Sanskrit reader. That's nice. Ooh, still have money enough to go to Morelands. Okay, get us another erudition here. So with these two erudition's we'll get another reason. And having two reasons will be very good for us. Uh, okay, let's a sermon about the thunderous secret. We'll use the fervor, we'll use a passion. What do we want to do this for? Requires intuition. Glimmering or an HQ with a sanctuary. And uh, that was the same for the red secret, right? Glimmering HQ with a sanctuary. Okay. Of course it's the wrong kind of attention. I has there <laughs> it's coming up even next. Has there even been a second? Well, of course, there's been a couple of seconds, but not probably one. Like, there's been maybe one minute since this guy was here last, and now he's back here. Okay, Light Lao, we need to put you into the cult, but we don't have anything to do that with. No, fleeting reminiscences don't do it. Vitality doesn't do it. These. We can't even put there. 
So I think we'll just talk about the locks and secrets some more. And you're looking for stuff, so you're gonna grab that mystique. We find uh, the War of the Roads from the Morelands. We still have enough money to go back there. This is probably the thing that everyone who plays this game does, like with their money to begin, right? Empty out Morelands. Like, cause why wouldn't you? And we find introduction to histories. So these will probably give us secret histories. They look to be that color. So we could. Now we need to read them first, so yeah, we'll buy more stuff from Morelands. Okay, we got some more, f uh, not fervor, exaltation. Okay, but now since this thing is over here, we don't want to do the exaltation, I think. What we do want to do is this hard commission. We'll use our reason, we'll use the hard lore there. And there's our second reason. Uh, go. Yep. Skill. Actually, health. You should be there. Passion. You should be there. Reason. You should be there. Right. And we need to study something. So let's start reading these books. This is in Latin. We don't speak Latin. This is the locksmith's dreams, portions, and proportions. The second volume of Teresa Galmia's examination of perils in the mystic dreams of artisans. The frontispiece has been slashed with a razor. In this volume, Galmia records fever dreams and explicates more no fewer dreams and explicates more of her own elaborate theories. He we see this again and again. What is below can't escape what is above. And from Morlands we get the victory of Crows. Or crowns, is it crowns? Yeah, crowns. So back to Morelands, we want to find something that gives us lantern lore so that we can dream our way into the forest. Can we use some other lore for that? There's probably another lore that will work for that as well, but I'm used to using lantern lore. Okay, and if we don't put the cult in there, we're just gonna get two gold, it would seem, from that thing. Okay. Right, there goes our worshipper, there goes our mystique. Here is a brief discussion of heart. Here we have a collection of essays. Uh, we want to give this back to Jennings as soon as possible, but uh, we need to wait for this thing to open up for that. So let's uh, work, 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 work. Where's our oral lore? There's our lore. We'll just do a thunderous secret today with passion. I mean, we're talking about a thunderous secret quite a while already. So if we dream with passion, and we use lore, I'm thinking it might be moth. Moth might work as well, because we're going to the woods, and moth is wood aspected, right? Okay, ooh, locksmith means an erudition. Had I known that we get that erudition from that, I might have done something differently. Does the locksmith's dream... Wait, it does? Ooh, the serpent's way. Locksmiths often have the dream after the sole of the foot is wounded, especially if it has been snake bitten. I could try that. Well, let's try that. And we still have money enough to buy stuff from Morelands, so let's buy stuff from Morelands and let's uh, read uh, an introduction to histories here. The 17th century mystic and antiquarian Claude Hersault describes divergent incidents in five major histories. The prologue warns at length of the inequities of one Julian Cosley, a former colleague who her soul now describes darkly as a worm of worms. It seems Cosley advised her soul early in the writing of the book, but her soul later became suspicious. So we'll start reading that, and then I think we're gonna end this episode here. I'm uh, this has been Call Simulator with the Priest DLC. Goodbye world, thanks for watching, see you next time!